So in the uh, past, as I said, you know, okay. the, with the lower resolution, you mm. could do a low frame rate, you know, just. Uh, okay. But now you can actually put it in a high definition, mm. low power, ultra okay. low power cameras. Okay. And put it in doorbell cameras, security cameras. Hey, it's Eamon with IP Exchange and Embedded World 2024. I'm catching up with Malik Matori uh, from Sintiant on the TinyML Pavilion. Um, and they've got a new chip out. So, Malik, what's new with the NDP 250? Yeah, thank you. So, this is our uh, third generation uh, Sintiant core based architecture. Mm -hmm. And we just launched it yesterday at this Embedded World. And uh, it's, uh, it's a it's a neural network chip, just like our Gen 1 and 2, mm -hmm. but much more neural capacity in the sense okay. that Gen 1 was about a million 8-bit uh, params. This one is goes up to 6 million parameters. So we have a capacity of this is about 8 megabytes of memory on the chip. Okay. Which, uh, and the neural core is the Sentient Core 3, which is the next generation core for Core 1, Core 2, and this is okay. the Sentient Core 3. Nice. And um, we have a similar architecture as the first two generations, uh, gen, like Gen 2, where you have a Hi-Fi DSP mm -hmm. and the microcontroller, but they all have more uh, memory capacity, so you can run a lot of you know cable things. I mean, one of the applications for this device that is focused on vision. Okay. So our previous generations were more audio. Focused. Yeah, I was going to ask. Yeah. So this one is a you know more vision focused, though we still contain. Keep, keep this audio and sensor fusion capabilities on this chip. Cool. So, uh, yeah, so as you can see, we can handle uh, uh, more higher resolution than mm -hmm. Gen 2. So we can go up to uh, HD, uh, level 1080p. Okay. And then uh, we also handle uh, ASR for, so we are not giving up on the speech recognition. Okay, cool. So in, in terms of what people can do in their applications, what do, what are the new uh, kind of things that you can do uh, thanks to that added uh, functionality? Yeah, so in the uh, past, as I said, you know, yeah. the, with the lower resolution, you mm. can do a low frame rate, you know, just, uh, okay. but now you can actually put it in a high definition, mm. low power, ultra yeah. low power cameras, okay. and put it in doorbell cameras, security cameras, and all those things, places. Mm. Plus, now in the past, we could not do, we could do keyword spotting and some kind of a recognition, okay. word recognition, but now we can do a full ASR, speech recognition. Oh, okay. Uh, nice. ASR front end, so you can do speech to text. So this could be a front end for like an LLM. Oh, cool. So that really expands what the, I, I guess, when you say previous generation, you're talking about the... Gen 2. Uh, the 120. 120. Yeah, okay. So yeah, that's quite a big jump. But what's the power consumption of this one like? So the, of, you know, when, and Gen 1 mm. was about, uh, in, for voice, was about mm. less than a milliwatt. Yeah. And for image was about a couple of milliwatts, you know, mm -hmm. you know 1.5 1, 1 milliwatts. Okay. And uh, now we, it goes up. This is our, this chip is, uh, you know, it's got eight megabytes of RAM. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of static yeah. RAM. But it is definitely more power, but it's still the capacity and the capability of handling a lot mm -hmm. of that. So we, we are still um, able to run all of the previous functions mm -hmm. at the same power level. Okay. But the new functions run at a higher power. So okay. you can also run the chip at 120 megahertz. Okay. Whereas in the past, we would go at top power at like 90 megahertz. Okay. Most of, uh, and the, this is the main uh, difference. So the power consumption is like, you know, it can yeah. go up to, depending on the use case, mm -hmm. like it can run a lot much higher frame mm -hmm. rate or do a more work, and that's about 10 milliwatts. Mm -hmm. But still in the milliwatt range. Yeah. Of cool. So basically, if you were already using a Sintiant chip and you liked that low power consumption, then you could go for this one. You'd still get all that functionality, and then if you wanted to push, you could you could get the extra functionality extra on top. Functionality. Yeah. And then you can run multiple models simultaneously. Oh, okay. We can do vision and audio, and we can do sensing all together in sense of fusion in the same chip. Cool. Hence the doorbell. Yeah. Oh, cool. And any of those use cases. Nice. Um, so, in terms of uh, development boards, what have you got available for so, this? Yeah, one? so we are displaying here today our own evaluation kits mm -hmm. based on the NDP 250. So, this one is showing person detection. Mm -hmm. uh, 
you know, with a higher resolution and a more wider, mm-hmm. um, wider, uh, yeah, higher resolution and a wider field of view. Okay. So we are doing that today with the NDP 250 running on the Easty Valky. Nice. So those, this our chip is just, um, it's in sampling right now. Okay. To select customers. Cool. Um, do you know when the uh, general availability will be? So general GA will happen about usually in about six months from the first silicon. So okay. It, but this year. In okay. The, good. In the, in the cool. Well, we will look forward to it. Thank you. Cool. Thank you very, Thank very you much. much. Very good to finally interview. Thank you very much. Thank you. Are you with my engineers, sir?